hello guys welcome back to my channel it's g here i had this conversation actually while i was in the states and i was talking to actually a family member who did not understand why it is important for a woman to be with a man who loves her more than she loves him and i realized maybe a lot of people don't understand why because her response was very interesting so guys subscribe to my channel and let me explain some things to you this is your reminder you're not depressed you just needed some sun or somebody's son growing up i absolutely always heard my older aunts my grandma everybody every woman that i've ever met told me that you always find a man who loves you more than you love him period 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 and at the time when i was young and i used to hear this i i thought it I, I probably thought the same way that this woman thought but she's my age so i'm like girl if you haven't learned by now why that's important all of us need a lesson and i think this is especially important for those women and those of us who grew up not feeling completely loved because a lot of times we're seeking that love in a romantic partner we're seeking a soulmate and we're just like oh my god you know like we end up pouring so much of the love and the things that we have wanted to experience into someone else and we don't always notice whether or not it's being reciprocated and the thing is with most women i'm going to put myself in this bucket as well most women we have not experienced love, not love from a man, not even necessarily loving a man. What we experience is attachment. And depending on our level of trauma, depending on the things that we've got, gone through, what we attach to can very much be the same shit that we've been trying to get love from when we were seeking it as a child when we were trying to accomplish that proving to our parent or whoever our caregiver was to give us that thing that we were we were needing and we call it love it could be a number of things right but as our childhood minds think about it we call it love it might not have been love that we we're really seeking from this parent it could have been validation it could have just been attention our parent could have loved us, just not in the way that we needed them to love us. And that's what it comes down to a lot of times. We don't get loved in the way we need to be loved or want to be loved or can actually feel that that person is loving us. Do you know what I mean? And when we seek out that love in romantic partners, then it ends up a lot of times for those girls, for those girls who grew into women, who did not feel loved i was one of them did not necessarily feel that much love growing up we end up just trying to be that person to somebody else in hopes that they will give it back to us and it almost never works that way and the thing that i have learned from that statement finds a man who loves you more than you love him and why that's important is because we don't experience love in most instances, even though we want to, and we probably won't. Like, that's the sad part. And it's not because we're unlovable. It's not because of us, necessarily. It's society. It's not, love is not something that's free. Love is so, not something that most people even know how to give. They try and buy it. They try and you know, manipulate things, they try, and it's not love. It's not love. A lot of times it's something completely different because love is fucking free. And I don't just mean in the sense of monetarily, I mean in the sense that if I love someone and I am not good for them, I should walk away because I love them and I love myself. And a lot of times we don't do that. <laughs> a lot of times nobody loves anybody enough to do what is best for them to give them the space to grow and be everything that they need to be want to be and are in this world or the next 
And the thing that, and like, that's why if you're going to find yourself in a romantic relationship, stop looking for a soulmate in romance. You might find one, but it's very unlikely. I feel like I'm lucky because now that I'm, and I, I think I discovered who my soulmate was when I was probably in my early 30s. Um, I have two. I'm lucky. And they're not romantic. So they're not going anywhere ever. My best friend and my oldest son are definitely my soulmates. And I am lucky that I have a soulmate that is not a romantic partner. And I am lucky that this is somebody who has loved me and accepted me. I have love. I have that love and acceptance, but a lot of times we don't see it because we want it in a romantic partner. And a lot of times our romantic partners are not the ones who's going to give us the type of love that we actually, actually desire. And this idea that we're supposed to get everything from a romantic partner is very isolating. And it's also something that only women seek. Um, men, not necessarily so much men seek women to serve them more often than they seeking love and that is why when you are out here in these dating streets in this world fucking around with these dudes if you do not find a man who loves you more you are going to be asked out i don't care what the situation is because when a man truly actually does try to pour into a woman actually does love her actually does care then you are going to get that love. And the thing is, what she said to me was when I told her about, like, when I said to her, I'm like, no, you always find a man who loves you more. And she was like, it, may, it would make her feel like a prostitute. Now, this is the idea that you just with somebody for what they can give you. This is not the same thing. This is not, you just like, oh my God, I can't stand this motherfucker, but you know what? He's just, he, he bought me a gift. He's got paying the bills. Like, no. That is not what I'm talking You have somebody you like, somebody you care for, someone you're interested in, somebody you can have a conversation with, somebody that you can care for, and potentially even love and, and, and all of those things. But if he doesn't love you more, you are always going to be miserable. He is not going to take care of you. When you are sick, when you need the things that, that actually matter in this life, that is when you're going to feel how he does not care. He might pay for someone to be there he might make sure you know you know what you know you got food to eat blah, blah blah the bare fucking minimum but if you do not have love that from that man if he does not love you truly you will know and a lot of times we as women get attached this is the reason why we will attach and we will do we will perform love in that attachment we will do all of the things that you're supposed to do for a relationship. You will perform as whatever your, your duties are that you guys have in that relationship together. You will perform as a woman. Most women will perform, even if they don't necessarily love this man. If he's taking care of him, he's loving her, she will, re she will perform. She will give the things. She generally will attach. Men don't do that. Men will not attach. If they don't love you, they're always, they'll stay around you for what you give them. They will stay around you because you're loving them and they like how that feels. But women are so different in the sense that, and I'm not saying like, this is motherfucker you hate because I've seen those things too. A man loves her and she's doing all of the things and she just hates that motherfucker. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about just somebody who is just not, necessarily a great human being to be around i am talking about normal shit most women have never experienced love they're attached when you see those women who believe they're in love and they just cope and they deal with every kind of abuse with every kind of like disrespect with any type of bs and they're like it's for love they're not in love that man definitely doesn't love them, right? They are so attached. They don't know what else to do because they've gotten too deep in that attachment. And they're confused. 
they are absolutely confused because if they fell in love with a man who did not love them more, that's what that's going to look like. Now, can it be equal? Sure, maybe, sometimes, rarely, like literally once every two million people. <laughs> maybe it's not that bad. There's so many women who find themselves in situations blindsided by the men in their relationships who they thought yesterday everything was fine. And then one day they, this man walks in and he tells her, oh, I got a side baby. Oh, I see you as a friend. Oh, I, I don't want to be um, a father or a husband or a partner or a this or a provider or a this or a that. That man didn't love that woman. He was with her for the convenience of what she provided for him. And then it was over for him in some way. He might be in love with somebody else. And that's why a lot of times we see these dudes who string women along for years and decades and centuries and be like, oh, I'm not, I, I don't want to commit. I don't, I, you know, we're, we're together. We're in love. We don't have to do this. They break up and two months later, they're married. They're doting on some woman and they're doing all of the things that she could never get him to do. He loves her more than she loves him. And I don't know why this dynamic has to be for men, for them to do that. They always have to feel a little bit, a little bit inferior to the woman that they're with. Just a little bit because that's how men are made up. Believe it or not, these alpha men. These men who need to feel like they are superior actually are afraid to feel that inferiority, to feel that vulnerability because they know how they are and how much they don't love women and they haven't been loving women and they don't know how. And they only believe that they can get these things through force and power of a woman performing performing love for them because that's all that they really want. And most men, that's all that they ever really want is that performance, especially if they don't love you. It's so important. And like now that as, as I get older and as I, you know, navigate different, this relationship even of mine and you see the things and how people are just, you always question, does this person really love me the way I need to be loved. And I hate to say it, but for women, when this attachment idea, this love idea that we have is what ends up getting us in situations for longer than we should be in, because we're like, oh, we're in love and I'm not going to find this love somewhere else. Girl, you ain't in love. You're attached. You are attached. It's so different. It is so different. And most of us, will not experience love. And I'm sorry, like we'll, we will experience attachment. We will experience a lot of things. We won't necessarily experience romantic love from a man. We can experience love. We can have soulmates. They just not, might not be breaking our backs if you want it from a man. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you might have to separate these things. You might have to look at yourself for the love that you actually need, period. Your soulmates can be anybody. And I'm so lucky that I, I and oh my God, when I was in college, I had a friend who always talked about meeting a soulmate, meeting a soulmate, meeting a soulmate. And I was just like, I started to hate the word soulmate because I was like, girl, just have some fun. You know what I mean? Like, fuck a soulmate. Just like these dudes, they, they not here for our souls. Um, well, some of them want to snatch our snow souls, but in a whole different way than what she was talking about. And I just feel like, you know what? I feel settled in knowing that I do have people who love me. I do have someone who is going to be with me till the end of time in some capacity, the end of my time, the end of her time. I, I already know who my soulmate is and I don't have to search for one. Uh, outside of that, that, you know, just because they have a functioning hoo-ha. Um, yeah, no. And I, I think that when you find a man who actually does love you 
lo actually loves you more than you love him, you will ease in a way that you've never eased before. And this isn't nice guys. This isn't those guys who love bomb you. This isn't any of that. It's not any of that. When you actually have someone, your whole fucking nervous system calms down. You're not performing in the sense of like tap dancing, trying to get their attention, trying to do all of the things that they, that you think will get them to love you. You stop doing that. You relax. You ask for what you need. You don't try to overdo it. And that allows you to be so free and be yourself. And that is why that advice is so important. You, can, you cannot do that with a man who does not love you more. You absolutely cannot. Because that man is always going to expect you to prove that you belong there with him. But when someone who's just loving you lets you be, lets you rest in your soft femininity, as these men are always talking about, they're not loving us. They, want, they don't even want soft feminine women. They want maids and slaves and prostitutes. But that is not what a man who loves you will do. That is not what a man who loves you will expect of you. And if you want to actually feel that release, yeah, you've got to find a man who loves you more, period. Otherwise, you're going to keep attaching yourself to the worst, the worst especially those of us who have that love deficit from childhood. No. Guys, I hope this little conversation helps. I'm going to send this to her. Hopefully she doesn't get mad at me. I love you, girl. Anyway, subscribe to my channel and uh, ciao, ciao for now.